Greetings, this is Dibra Rethwin Arbinlow. I can barely say my own name because it's so damn long. I'm going to be doing tutorial number three today, which is adding special effects to photos. This works for any kind of photo. It doesn't have to be a second life photo. Um, it can be a, a real life photo, green screen photo, a second life photo from a sem, doesn't really matter. You can do this on anything. So this is a photo I did a couple months ago with a Genesis head, Aisling dress, a Zenith headdress. And this was just a green screen photo. So if I remove these extra layers, all this fancy stuff goes away. And we're just left with this. Now this is a pretty advanced photo, so we're going to be showing you on something a little more simple, but I wanted to use this as an example. So to see where this kind of effect looks like, we're going to move one of my effects up to the top and we're going to change the blending mode to normal. So the normal way that this layer of my photo looks, it has this black background and then it has the long exposure glowy fancy crap all over the screen. So when you change your blending mode to screen, it takes away anywhere that has the black. So we're going to change it to screen and you can see all that black stuff goes away. If you have a lot of uh, glowy parts of it, you may end up with sort of a hazy look. So you want to have something that looks pretty clean. The black should be pretty dark. You shouldn't have uh, grayish backgrounds or colored backgrounds. It won't work. It needs to be very black. This is an even better example of black normal. Change the opacity up. So you see how dark this is? Now these hazy parts are going to sort of look foggy on your, on your photo when you screen it, so you need to be aware of that. If you would like to remove some of the hazy parts, you can also change the levels. So if you hit Control L, it brings up levels. And there are other ways to do this. You can do like adjustment layers and stuff, but I'm just going to do this the very simple way. So you can move this down and it starts to take away the haze until you're left with just like the basic black parts of your image. I mean you can do this all the way down until there's like nothing, but that's pointless. So it depends on what you're looking for. For me, the haze was okay for me, so I can change my blending mode to screen and I've got this cool sort of hazy fire thing going on. So we're going to show you on a normal, just plain photo. I just removed the background on a green screen photo. This was a photo I did for the Fantasy Collective November. This is a figment dress, uh, Luca head with YS and YS gotcha skin. Um, we're going to put a magic glowy orb here. So you need to go to Google and then you're going to search for whatever kind of effect you want. So I want a magic orb. So we're going to type magic, I can't type apparently, magic orb. Clearly I have been here before. We're going to go to images. Now there's a lot of orbs showing up, but we need something on a black background. So we're going to go to search tools, color, black. Now it has pulled up orbs that have black backgrounds. We want to find something that's contained in the black background so it doesn't get cut off um, at the effect, so you don't want anything that's um, going outside of the background. So for instance, like here, you can see these sparkles are kind of going off screen. You're, you're going to end up with a hard line that you have to edit, so that's no fun. So we want something more like this, where you have all of the black space. But we want something more fancy than that, so let's take something like this. Fancy, glowy, swirly goodness. So we've copied this, we've viewed the image and copied it. Now I'm going to paste it, just paste it onto my photo. Now I've got all this black background that I don't want. I just want the fancy glowy orb. So I'm going to go to my blending mode and set it to screen. Now it has created this fancy orb. Now one of the issues with the fancy orbs is that on pale colors it's not as noticeable. So you don't really get a prominent effect. So either you'll need to layer multiple types of effects on t one, and on one on top of another so that you can have something that's a little more potent 
or if you have a darker sort of background like maybe a gothic background you can also just make sure that it's in the background area and that will help as well so I'm gonna resize this a little bit actually this kinda looks like Navi Ooh. hey listen Hyrule needs your head okay <laughs> digress um, okay so I wanna resize this a little I'm gonna push control T brings up my transform tool and then I'm gonna hold shift and drag one of the corners I've made it bigger very fancy now I have a fancy glowy orb and you can layer it with some other stuff just to make the effect more interesting so let's see what else we got that's similar that's very fancy let's look how fancy that is okay so I paste this one I'm gonna make it nice and big let's make it big I like that size then I'm gonna change it to screen maybe I'll move it behind the other one and kinda lose the other one's effect see if I remove this one you see the the way the effect sort of layers on itself I mean this is a little extreme uh, it might look good with a different background but you get the general idea you can add whatever kind of effect you want as long as the background is dark now say I want to get rid of some of the extra glowiness I probably wouldn't because it's very nice looking but if I wanted to get rid of it I could go to levels control L and when I have the layer selected and I can reduce this arrow and it will take some of that haze out and in this case it doesn't really look as good like that but in some you may find that you have too much gray or too much of another color and then you might actually like to do that this also works incidentally for other kinds of overlays um, if you want to add snow or if you want to add rain you just need to find the right kind of pre-image that has black so let's say snow overlay so I have found snow that's pretty extreme snow let's look at this snow okay this probably is not going to be something that I want to use because it looks like it's pretty low resolution but it'll give you the general idea so I'm going to resize this the approximate size of my screen and we're going to change that to screen so if what I wanted was some highly pixelated snow-ish effect I have created that by using the screen tool so you can use that to make all sorts of things um, and you can use it to do light leak effects you can use it to add fog pretty much any kind of effect that you would like to add as long as you can find it on a black background you can add it in the screen effect or even if you want something that's not on a black background to add some haze to your photo you can do that as well let's add a little fog fog overlay and there's lots of results for this you just have to find what works for you so let's say we want to use this again it's pretty low resolution so it's probably not gonna look great and my photo is starting to look like a hot mess but I don't care because it's so fancy alright so I've got my fog I resize it using control T I'm gonna change this to screen look at that I got fog this is a hideous photo <laughs> but but the effects are there so if this were not so helter skelter then you may actually find it looks more like this so you have to find what works for you but using blending modes you can create really cool effects on any kind of photo and make everything that you do a little bit more magical so that is overlays uh, to make special effects if you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see from me you can leave them in the comments or you can send me a message on Plurk or a message in Second Life um, and I will see if I can make it and thank you for joining me I'll catch you next time.